it's moving fast while the game is paused. Stop! Ah! Stop! Oh my god, it's actually so scary. This is worse than normal. Hello, my friends, and welcome back to the Nightmare Legacy Challenge. This is actually part 85, which is kind of a milestone. Unfortunately, my Sims do not seem to be too pleased about that. <laughs> I don't think they're having a very good time at all. And in fact, Pepper, your day's about to get worse because I'm gonna have you get divorced today. <laughs> I'm really sorry. I know you're having a rough time, but unfortunately, that's just the way it's gonna be. Also, for some reason, everybody is awake at like 2 a.m. I never understand this. Sometimes I load back into my own sim saves and I'm like, what What was I doing? <laughs> like, what was going on here that caused everyone to be awake for this long still? Oh my god, the dog is also eating all of my chicken food and is dirty again. Yeah, we're, we're in for it today. <laughs> I just started. Okay, everyone go to sleep so I can talk us through the plans. Thank you. Oh my goodness. I already need the peace and quiet of them being asleep and I've been recording for like two minutes. So to catch you up to speed, last episode we got a new dog. It's called Dog. I've got a child who is going back to bed because it's 3 a.m. Thank you. Pepper is actually pregnant again and is being woken up by a dog. That's great. Oh my god, and the chickens are... <laughs> Please, I just wanted to be quiet again. Oh, Pepper is pregnant again, and Pepper and Tommy are, are probably gonna get divorced today. I've been meaning to do it. It is about time. They've been fighting. Pepper, look, is hurt and grudging after a fight. I mean, the two of them, they're just, they're not really clicking anymore. Yeah, so basically my plan is just to, to hurt them even further. <laughs> they're already having a rough day. Everyone's devastated. My pet just died. What else can I do to make today worse, you know? Oh, let's get divorced. Work for Tommy starts in an hour. Can you work from home today? Cause I, um, <laughs> I was, was kind of counting on you being around today. Cause I, I was sort of, uh, I kind of have plans. <laughs> So maybe don't go into the office. Is the chicken walking in circles around the pool? Oh, you're not, but that was, it looked like you were for a second, okay. If this toilet catches on fire right now, I'm going to get divorced right now. If not, I'll wait until later on the episode. Oh, oh, saved, okay. I was gonna make her do it now. We've got the next three days off of work. Oh, that's actually really good for us. That's gonna help so much. All right, I'm gonna make some breakfast first. I'll make a little grand breakfast and then I'll get divorced. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> Tommy, please. The way that it happened right after I said that, but to somebody else. Okay. Um, does that mean I have to do it now? I feel like that counts as me having to do it right now. L literally, Tommy has run outside crying, stinky, literally on fire, just almost died. And I'm gonna be like, hey, um, you know, I don't think this is gonna work out. <laughs> I'm, re I'm really gonna go dump her in the front yard. What? Why did you not do it? Come here. This is actually really important. No, come back outside. You're ruining my vibes. I wanted to get you while you were crying in the front yard. Oh, stop. Stop going back inside. Congratulate on marriage. Gaze lovingly at new spouse. Divorce? <laughs> Criticize woohoo techniques. Okay, just for the record, by the way, this has been a long time coming. If you've missed the past couple of episodes, we've kind of been worried about their relationship ever since the wet- Ah! Oh my god. The the Sims moving on the game is paused is so terrifying. The way her head is turning while it's paused. Stop. Anyway, Tommy literally ran away from us at the wedding. It it was a, a bad omen from day one. And honestly, we put too much pressure on her. I, I married her because I was like, oh my god, she can help me get all of the ingredients that I need for ambrosia. But that's too much pressure on one person. She didn't sign up for this. She didn't ask to be involved in this. <laughs> we forced her into this. And she's a townie from the wedding pack. It was cursed from day one. We should have known when she came in the wedding stories pack. Anyone involved with that? <laughs> Immediate red flag. All right, I'm gonna get some screenshots now because I'm, um, you know, this is a, a big moment for us. The way that she's like stinking up the room and also moving while the game is paused is sincerely so upsetting. Ah! Stop! Oh, it's moving fast while the game is paused. Stop! Ah! Stop! Oh my god, it's actually so scary. This is worse than normal. I've seen it a few times, but I haven't seen it that bad yet. Oh no. Well, is that, is it done then? Divorced. Yeah, it's, it's done. Oh no, they hate each other. It's very complicated, divorced, deeply wounded, hurt, saddened, grudging after a fight. Wow. Yeah, that's, that's rough. <laughs> What do I do now? Do I move her out? I don't know. Should we get like a divorce photo? <laughs> Wait, I kind of want to get a divorce photo. Where's the camera? No, I'm I'm like dead serious about this, by the way. I'm I'm fully getting a tripod and a camera and I'm taking a divorce photo. I feel like a nice one kind of angled this way, sort of at the house could be good. Take a picture with Tommy. Yes. I'm sorry. Genuinely, I'm sorry. This is also rough because we're pregnant. So the timing of this, what are you doing going back inside? Stop! You will take a picture with me! Oh my god, this game is 
so annoying. It is actually so annoying. Okay, I'm gonna reset them and try again. The way they just like walk around and do this, I don't understand how this thing is still so glitchy. This pack has been out for years. Years. Oh, here we go. Oh my god. <laughs> look at them, look at them. I'm sorry, I shouldn't be laughing because it's like not funny. <laughs> the idea of taking these portraits. This is the good stuff. We're gonna need these later on. Yes. Exactly. Oh, we could celebrate. You know, look, here's the thing. They weren't getting along. It was an unhappy marriage. This, it's not all bad. I, I think that, oh, that looks like a cute photo. We can't do that one. I feel like it's really easy to, you know, forget that this is the beginning of a new chapter. I mean, sure, it's sad, but it's not, it's not all terrible. There's, there's good things coming our way. I'm just gonna, you know, get rid of all these things so I can get Tommy's money. And then I'm gonna steal all of Tommy's photos. And then I'll probably move her out. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just, I don't, um, I'm probably gonna kick her out. <laughs> We are gonna co-parent though. Like we're not gonna be seeing the last of Tommy with this. She'll be back. She'll be around a lot. She is probably celebrating this day because she made it out of the Bell family unharmed. <laughs> She's like saved, fixed. Maybe we can move her into a nice house. Like one of these ones that the Calientes used to own. Is it empty though? Oh yeah, it's empty. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> okay, so the problem with this is that when Sims die, they like take all their furniture with them. I just like swung my headphones while saying that. But the reason that the house is empty and a lot of the houses in this save are empty is because all those original sims that lived in these houses died and then cleared them out on their way out. So when the last of the Calientes died, um, so did their furniture, unfortunately. <gasps> oh my god, look, look! It's the Caliente gravestones! Oh, Amy Cook, Letitia Cook, Preston Cook. Oh, they're not, that's not the Calientes. Well, here, we'll keep those. <laughs> I just want to get a new house first. I wonder if anybody has uploaded, like, this exact house, the original one, to the gallery, because then we could just redownload like the OG Caliente house if it would load. It is the gallery, so you know, it probably won't load. Here we go. These are renovated versions. This is your lucky day, Tommy. You're getting all your money back. I guess I- There we go. The original house back in its former glory. There's not really a kid's bedroom in this house either, but I guess we can sort of redo this a little bit later on once the kids are a little bit older and spending more time here. And I will put those graves of- What? Ah! <laughs> I tried to put the graves down, but they like, they disappear when I place them. Never mind, they're staying in my inventory. Oh, look, this is great for Tommy. There's like even a little garden plot back here. I think she'll be really happy. Here, come plant these things. The way that I still haven't given her a shower. <laughs> like she's still dirty from when she caught on fire at my house. Oh my God, burning to death. Stop, 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 stop. Outfits change outfits. Help, 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 help. Hang on, outfits change outfit. That's your fault. Put on your, your hot weather clothes. And then water with your tears. Yeah, that's good stuff. Okay, anyway, I'll probably renovate this house soon so that it's better for when we're spending more time here later on. But for now, I'm glad- Uh-oh, welcome wagon. Well, hang on. Maybe- Maybe meeting some people, like my new neighbor, is not so bad. We're similar in age. He's unmarried. Well, come introduce yourself. Just to see, just to see. I might go look in Cass really fast. Let me just- I don't know, maybe she needs this. It's too soon to rebound, but maybe- maybe we could just chat. Oh. Loves the outdoors, that checks out, we love to garden, but also lactose intolerant and a thief. <laughs> okay, that's- that's fine. Look, I've definitely seen better traits, but I've also seen worse traits. He seems nice. I'm gonna let her at least befriend him. I think it would be good for her to at least have a friend. Although I'll probably, um, probably fix his outfits real fast. <laughs> this is so typical of me. I'm sorry, I just like picked out the first sim that I saw on the street and I was like, yep, that'll do. <laughs> He'll be fine, thank you. But he seems nice, he likes green, he enjoys the violin, hates hip hop music, okay. Loves farmhouse decor, she's a farmer! Oh my god, it's perfect. Oh my god, look at her. <laughs> Wait, stop moving! his head. Oh my god, the head moving while paused is so creepy. I swear it keeps getting faster and faster too. Thanks for coming. Order him to clean. Stop! <laughs> Don't order him to clean. I'm sorry, buddy. What do you do for a living? Ask about career. Tell us. Unemployed? That's fine. Sorry. I really need to- I need to get my priorities straight here. <laughs> there have been times where I'm like, oh, they're lactose intolerant. Boring. Can't talk to them. <laughs> and this one, I'm like, he's perfect. 
friends. I don't know. Either way, I, I'm glad that she knows him. I think it'll be good for her to have a friend. And the other thing, oh god, I didn't even think about this, but the other thing that I'm worried about is her family. Because I know her mom is still around, but I think her mom is old. Did they move? Oh no. Oh, here they are. Yeah, her mom is still around, but getting a little bit older. And, and they have two other kids. So maybe I'll move them in with Tommy. Just so that way, like, everyone's all together and we don't need to worry about, like, anyone dying or something. Like, I just, I think it'll help to keep everyone in the same place. I also might set up the neighborhood stories. I think I'll allow them to die in things. I just don't want them to move. But I think that they can, like, die, have kids, change jobs. I'd be curious to see what happens to them. So we'll see <laughs> if Tommy dies in like a cow plant accident while outside of my household, that's gonna be a really cruel joke. <laughs> Cause I probably wouldn't have killed Tommy if I had kept her, I, I probably wouldn't have killed her. But then if she goes and like dies cause of the games neighborhood stories thing, that would be cruel. Okay, so now we're in a bit of a tough situation because I no longer have help with getting my ambrosia. So maybe, maybe I'm just gonna go do some fishing or something <laughs> because We've had a lot of storyline today, not a lot of actual progress. One of the things that we need to make the ambrosia to bring Pepper's parents back to life is an angelfish. We need to max the cooking skills, get the death flower, get an angelfish, and get like a potion of life, basically. Potion of youth or whatever it's called. Potion's easy, we can buy that with points. The fish can only be caught in a few certain places. Obviously the skills are kind of hard to max. And the death flower is gonna be a tough one, but you can catch the fish from here. So I might just fish <laughs> and like wait until I get it. We'll see if we get lucky. We don't have other plans today, so I may as well do this. Oh, Anna got promoted? Oh my gosh, well let's join the author branch. You know, if Anna was not still here, even though she's dead, <laughs> we'd be having a lot harder time with money right now. Anna like just working away still this whole time really helps. The fish in this area are too- the fish in this area are too crafty for Pepper. Okay, great. You want to come catch a frog then? You could probably come order some food too if you wanted to get something yummy like a hot dog. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> the way there's a food stand like right across the street from here is so amusing to me. I don't know why. It's just like, I don't picture this as being like a public beach access area. Like I don't really think of any of this area as being like public park space because it's around like two of the biggest mansions in the whole game. But then like, come and get your hot dogs. You want to come hang out on the beach and fish? Like, <laughs> it's just, I, I think that's cute. I'm fishing again and they're mowing outside, which is extremely unfortunate timing. I'm trying to record, but it's fine. I'll get my fish. Still too crafty. Do it again. It's not gonna change. <laughs> like, it's not gonna be different now, but I don't know. Oh, I got a minnow! See? First fish, that's good. It really is beautiful over here. Like, what a nice view. And the, the colors around sunset. This is a good spot to have your sims come get married. If you wanted to have them, like, elope out here, you'd get good screenshots. <gasps> I got a cow plant berry. Oh, <laughs> okay. Yeah, the game's gonna regret giving me that. Let me just run home really fast, because I have some planting I need to do, please. Oh, hey, my sister's here. Renee, share big news. Adult. Oh my gosh. Already? Wasn't she younger than me? Oh my god, it's my cousin, not my sister. I'm sorry. <laughs> confused with Penelope. Oh, that's terrible. No, that's my cousin who lives across the street. I'm sorry, I got her confused with my own sim. Look, in my defense, they both don't live here anymore. And they- I- um, I don't have an excuse. <laughs> I don't know. I'm sorry. It's my cousin though. We can get some cute pictures of them like hanging out though. Look, look. I've been trying harder to get better like family photos like this. This is what we need for the photo album later. Oh my God. Speaking of good for later, I need to give a bath to the dog. <laughs> my little tiny dog is very stinky and needs another bath. I am so glad Blake is still around. Oh my God. If Blake wasn't here, we'd be in big trouble. <laughs> we really need them. <laughs> like, uh oh. Oh no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, I made Pepper be your pants. Oh, I feel bad. I feel bad. I'm sorry. Oh, you want to take like a bath with some soaks then? Rose petals maybe? That makes me feel so guilty. <laughs> I feel like I've just failed her. The poor woman. First, I destroyed her relationship, destroyed her marriage, made her become a single mom, killed both of her parents. Although one died of old age, so it's not my fault. Got her pregnant again. <laughs> and now I'm like making her pee her pants in the front yard. It's terrible. Okay, I really wanted to try and work on Blue's skills a little bit more, but I have absolutely failed us in that department. I mean, look at this. I sort of had this dream in my head that maybe Blue, when they're a little bit older, would 
perhaps age up with like some great toddler traits and gain skills faster as an adult, but no, I haven't even bothered. I've been too busy getting divorced. I've like barely played with this sim. I've got a lot going on in my defense. All right, now it's 1.30 in the morning. Oh, how does this always happen to me? I wasn't paying attention at all. I'm so sorry. Go to sleep. Everyone go to sleep, please. This is a disaster. Why am I always having my sims up so late? Okay, in bed, in bed. All right, speed through the night, save game. All right. <laughs> All right, everything is fine. Oh my gosh, should we check the neighborhood stories? Beatrice White has died. Shockingly, Beatrice botched a repair and was electrocuted. Okay, it's not Tommy though. The land grabs adopts another baby? <gasps> Wait, my cousin's got another baby? We'll have to go check that. William Household got a dog. Scott Household got a dog. I don't know those people. Devin went to sleep with the fishes? <laughs> oh no. All right, look, I'm sorry to say it, but maybe it's okay if other people's sims are dying. Like if these other sims are dead, as long as it's not my family. I'm gonna keep checking. I could just turn it off, but it's kind of fun the thought of them possibly dying <laughs> But it's also like, you know, a little bit scary. Okay, so Renee obviously had adopted Colton before But now Kenny has adopted Brayden Bell. Oh, that's a great name. Oh my gosh, and Reagan aged up Oh, look at how many kids are in the family right now, and they're all really similar in age. Wait. Oh my god Penelope's babies were born because remember Penelope and Penelope's spouse were both pregnant at the same time Andrea and Kelvin. Okay. Oh, there are a lot of kids in our family right now. Wait, it's lottery day. Should we buy a ticket? Could you imagine if we won? <laughs> I'd probably cheat the money away if we won. I don't want to have that much money. It's I think it's no fun when we have like literally all of the money in the world. You get like a million simoleons or something, but it would be kind of funny if we won. That's good clickbait. <laughs> for next episode if we win. It's not clickbait if you actually won, but you know what I mean. All right, well, I tried to make breakfast yesterday and then I got divorced instead. So today I'm cooking up some breakfast. Blue is very hungry. Ah, sorry, sorry, come down here. I'm making you some spinach frittatas. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. My bad, <laughs> that is my bad. What are you doing? Oh my God, stop. You have to, I had you cooking food so that you could feed the baby. Don't go upstairs to feed the baby. Finish cooking to feed the baby. Should I get a lot trait for this? Oh, I guess I already have the chef's kitchen one. Oh, never mind. I already thought that. <laughs> False alarm. What? You broke the- oh, I tried to have you come downstairs and you didn't listen. Come on. I'm gonna feed you. You just gotta come downstairs first. You'll make it, little one. You'll make it. Grab a serving. Come on. You can do it. Look at you go. You're on your way. You're on your way. And it looks like Pepper is now in her third trimester, so she could give birth any time. I really don't know about baby names yet. Oh my god, it's 10 a.m. and you're- did you not sleep last night? Oh no. <laughs> you have work today? Oh no, you don't because you got three days off. That's right. Oh my gosh. Anyway, um, I have no idea about names, so if you've got any ideas for this next baby's name, I would greatly appreciate them in the comments. I don't think it'll be born in this episode, but I, I guess if it is, then, you know, well. <laughs> We're doomed. Is the dog dirty again? Has to go potty. We need to work on- I think the dog has fleas. Oh boy. And the dog is stubborn. Great. Okay. That's- <laughs> that's great. Well, Anna has to publish just one more book to get further up with our aspirations, so I might go write one. I'm gonna write a playful book. Oh. Work for Anna starts in an hour, okay. Should I buy any of these things? Do you know what? Maybe you could purchase, hang on. We're gonna need to get the potion of youth. I'll need two of those to make the ambrosia because we're gonna try and make two ambrosias. So maybe you could try and get those because you've got so many points. And then with your extra, do you wanna get like, I wish I could give these points to Pepper. <laughs> but maybe you could get like, carefree sims never get tense. That would be good for us because we have so many fires and everyone's always stressed about them. I think a, a inability to be tense is probably gonna be a benefit <laughs> in the long term. Okay, the the child is also extremely dirty. So Blake, could you give a bath to, to the baby? It is so useful having grandparents around. Oh my God. If we didn't, I don't know what we would do, honestly. We've been thinking about trying for a baby lately. Do you think we should do it? Yes, 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 yes. More grandkids, please. Oh my goodness, that's so fun. Okay, and then skill wise, we need to get our thinking skill up. That won't be too bad. I wanna see if we can get everything to level three, but I'm- I've not bothered potty training you, so I probably won't be able to. Give dog a bath. Come on. Come on. Come on. Okay, Anna's going to work, but we'll publish that book once she gets home. Oh, hey! 
It's Peter. You want to come talk to your brother? Give residence keys. Honestly, yeah, you can just come and go as you please. I don't mind. My social's a bit low. <laughs> Should I like maybe watch Peter play the piano? Does that get my social up? No, it doesn't. Oh my god. Does talking to the chicken get my social up? It does. Oh, that, well, that's easy. Hang on. Yeah. What would I do without these chickens? <laughs> dance is in your bones. Yeah, I had her show the chicken a dance move, and apparently that made her discover that she loves dancing. I mean, I think that checks out, actually. Okay, I'm gonna pee my pants. Help, 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 use the bathroom quick. You can't pee your pants twice in one episode. You just can't. We have enough toilet related accidents in this series. We can't be peeing our pants too, all right? You gotta pick a battle. <laughs> Either it catches on fire or you pee your pants a lot. And we already have too many fires. Level seven of the gourmet cooking skill. Thank you very much. We need level 10. So we're not quite there yet, but we're getting there. We're getting there. All right, child, I'm very sorry, but it is absolutely time for you to go to bed. <laughs> you are miserable and very sleepy and it is past your bedtime. Here you go, time for bed, go to sleep. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, everything's fine. Everything's fine. I wonder how much longer until dog ages up. Age child two out of one. What does that mean? Can I force age you up? MC cheats. No, I don't. You can kill a sim. Like a pet sim with MC command center. Oh, did you see that? I'm sorry, I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> I just wanted the dog to get older. I'm sorry, I didn't realize it was gonna like just do it. I was trying to like make an age transition happen. I could have gotten one of those like pet treats, right? But I didn't, and now I have a dog. I will say this dog is actually very cute. I'm gonna get a little collar. Do you wanna do like maybe some blue? It matches your little eyes. Yeah, I like that color. You are adorable. Okay, there you go, buddy. Do I have a big enough dog bed anywhere? Oh, I still have a cat tree. I still have a cat tree and no cat. <laughs> oh, that makes me feel sad. I probably still have a litter box too. I don't wanna get rid of it though. I can't just like throw out all of Cookie's things. They only died yesterday. I'm too sad for this. <laughs> Do you wanna like take some photos of the dog really fast before I forget? It's actually extremely important. Oh, we're friends. Oh, that's okay. Why is that the photo? <laughs> why now, why did that come up? This is a terrible picture. I don't want that one. I like, this is not good. I can't, whatever. Let me think about pet items real quick because like I said, I can't get rid of the, I can't get rid of the cat tree. Items keep turning up on the floor like this. That's an electronic upgrade part. I'm just gonna get rid of this food really fast too, but items keep turning up on the floor like that. And I don't really understand why. I'm getting rid of the cat tree. I'm sorry. Oh wait, don't sell those. These are some cool antique books. Yeah, keep those for Anna. That's super fun. And here, I say we get like a really nice big dog bed for the corner over here. I kind of like that color. Hang on, I'm just gonna get some little photos hung up in here. I feel like this one from the wedding is really good knowing what happened afterward. Oh, I've got like 20 eggs on me. Oh my gosh. Yeah, sell those. <gasps> and my cow plant. I totally meant to plant that and then I forgot. Oh, this is urgent. Go do it now. Are you kidding? That's the most important part of this whole episode <laughs> is that I got another cow plant. And you know what? I think I might end the part there. I'm pretty sure Anna's gonna, I mean Pepper. Oh my God. I'm pretty sure Pepper is gonna give birth like literally any second so I want to cut it off on a cliffhanger. Not Anna. Anna's dead. Anna is not giving birth anytime soon. <laughs> That's just not happening. Pepper, however, is heavily pregnant, as you can see. Anyway, I hope that you enjoyed this episode. Thank you for watching. If you like this series, I'll have the playlist linked at the end for you. And baby name suggestions in the comments. Our current baby is named Blue, Blue Bell. So if you've got any other names that are kind of funny for like the Bell last name, or maybe fit that theme, or just sound good with Blue, maybe like another B name, I don't know. Tell me in the comments and I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye everybody. Oh my God, we got divorced today. I was about to be like, oh, nothing happened. It was it was a great positive episode. No, we literally got divorced. That's not positive or great. What am I saying? What am I thinking? I just like blocked that out somehow.